How much do you want to win this game against Kansas? Uh, I mean, I want to win every game I'm playing. Uh, no matter what it is, scrimmage, open gym, I want to win every game I'm playing. Uh, so I look at it like every other game, and I want to get the victory. And there will be some eyeballs on it. Uh, is that important to you, too? Uh, I mean, it is and it isn't. Um, I feel like our team, we're going to play the same. Uh, we're going to play it like it's a real game. We're going to go out to win. We're going to play the same. We're going to play regular basketball, nothing different, and just be ourselves. Um, it's gonna give us a good look where we at. Um, obviously we played a lower level team last game, and they're not the same competition as Kansas. But I feel like we'll get a pretty look at where we at with them being the number one team in the country. I saw some of their guys last year in the close scrimmage. What did that look like for you guys, and what are you expecting this one? Uh, it was really good. Uh, the game was really close. Um, it was a high level secret scrimmage, and. It was. I plan. Uh, I plan for it. I plan for it to be the same thing uh, Sunday. What's different, like energy-wise, when you're playing in front of people versus that secret scrimmage? Like, it seems like these can be more popular than before. Uh, I mean, this just get a fan something to look forward to uh, during the season. Um, they just hear about it in the secret scrimmage, and they don't know it. They just see stats, and they just make assumptions off the guys' numbers. So they get to see it uh, live in action, and I feel like that's pretty good for the fans. Looking forward to seeing Hunter again. Oh uh, yeah, plan on beating him again. You guys, <laughs> you guys <laughs> talked much about it. No. Uh, Terrence, as much as you were recognized coming into last season, you're getting even more recognition. How are you handling the uh, maybe elevated expectations? Uh, it just it just makes me work harder, and it was all because of my teammates last year. Uh, they helped me get in that position, and Coach Brad and the staff they put me in the right position to get that notoriety and. Just playing, playing the right basketball. Uh, my teammates are uh, helping me be successful. Uh, just, but just working harder, man. Uh, working like I don't got none of that. Working like nobody looking at me, and I'm the worst player um, on the team. What have you guys, what have you guys been focused on this week coming off the first exhibition game? Uh, we did. We've been doing a lot of bo boxing out and defending the back back cuts and, and rebounding and crashing. A lot of that. Our first look at Marcus last week. Uh, what, what does he add to you guys? Everything. Uh, he's an all-around player. Um, he can defend. He can pass, shoot, rebound. All-around guy. He's a really good player for us. How do you feel about that starting lineup with you, Ty, obviously Marcus, Luke, and uh, Holman out there? Uh, I like it. Uh, I like any uh, any of our guys. Uh, wherever five we put out there, uh, I got confidence in them. Uh, we all work hard, and we're all a team. So the starting five don't really matter. Uh, it doesn't matter if we get the win or not. So you talked with Kevin about this game at all? No. Is that just your MO? Just keep kind of to your inner circle from the other guys you know on the other side? I mean, no, I just ain't talked to him. Uh, <laughs> I just been focused on me and my team. How was that battle with you guys last year? You and Kevin probably went up against each other quite a bit. Uh, it's just, it was a secret scrimmage. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of battles, Johnny Newton claims he uh, can take you in Madden. Is this true? Uh, go ask him what happened the last time we played. Wait, wait. Uh, no, he actually beat me last time. <laughs> but uh, I got a better record than him. He only beat me four times. I beat him like 20 plus times in Madden. <laughs>